You want to launch a mini session promotion and you want to let clients pick a time, choose a package, sign a contract, pay you, and then remove that date and that time from your availability so you don't double book. There's two features in Sprout that you're going to be using to do this. Number one, a booking page, and number two, a scheduler. A booking page in Sprout is a public guided web page that walks your clients through the steps to book you, including having them sign a contract and pay. And a booking page can have a scheduler, which is a set of availability settings and other configurations. A scheduler also checks your Google Calendar and then lets your clients pick a date and a time on your calendar that works for you. So to set up a mini session to book clients, you're going to need a booking page and a scheduler. Let's do that in Sprout right now. In Sprout, we're going to click Overview and then Booking Page. Next, click the Add New button in the top and we're gonna start by giving the booking page a name. Next, to add the scheduler to this booking page, we're gonna click Add a Scheduler right here and you can choose one from a list of dropdowns here if you have one or you can click Create New Scheduler. The first section that we'll walk through is the availability section up here. This is where you can tell the scheduler what different available time slots that you want to make available for this scheduler. For this one, we're going to go ahead and click on the 4th here, which is a Saturday, and I'm going to choose 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. I'm going to click Add New. This is now where I can say for this day only, for all Saturdays, or for specific days of the week. This is obviously more useful for other kinds of schedulers. For this one, for a mini session, I'm going to choose just this Saturday. I'm also going to thumb forward one week and then add availability for the 11th for same thing, 10 o'clock until 4 p.m. here. And that's for this day only. The next section is booking window down here. This lets you choose when your client can preview dates or can look at dates on your calendar. So you can leave rolling window, which means they can look up to a certain number of days or weeks in the future a start and an end, which kind of builds a fixed window for them to look at, or ongoing, which means they can just look at your entire calendar. For the purposes of mini sessions here, we're gonna actually use start and end because whenever you set a start date, it'll actually start in that month. So right now it's October, the mini session isn't until November, so I'm actually going to choose November 1st until November 30th. And that way it doesn't even give the client the option to look at October or to look forward into December because I have no availability um, in those months. The next section here is minimum scheduling notice, which is less than useful for a mini session, but the option is here, which basically just means how much notice do you have to have for your client to book a date? So can they book a date uh, for tomorrow, which in this case they could if it was no limit, or if you have set notice and you can say, well, I need at least three days notice for them to book a date with me. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it at no limit. The next section down here is advanced availability. This allows you to specify how many you want to allow the client to book or a client to book um, in a day. So you can limit that here. We're gonna leave it at no limit because I want the whole day to book up. Availability increments allows you to specify how granular your client can book time slots. So do you wanna let them choose 10 o'clock and 10.15 and 10.30 and 10.45 and 11 o'clock? Or do you want 30 minute time slots, which are uh, 10 o'clock and 10.30 and 11 o'clock? Or you want 60 minute time slots, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. It's usually best to have this mirror what you're gonna choose for the length of the actual date and that way they kind of match up and you don't have any odd gaps in your scheduling. You can also add a buffer before and after the events if you want to allow buffer in here as well. The next section is the date detail section. You can choose to have the date manually approved, which means it doesn't actually get booked until you approve it, or you can have it auto-approved. As long as you're available, we wanna let our clients um, book this date here. You can allow rescheduling or not. I'm gonna turn that off for here. And then date length here, this is how long is the actual date that you're creating. So I'm gonna set that to be 30 minutes. Lastly, I'm just gonna set the name of it right here to be mini session with, and then it'll fill in the contact name. There are other advanced configurations in, in uh, communication and then share, and we skipped over a few other ones here. And of course, you're welcome to explore those on your own. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. To set up the rest of the mini session here on the booking page, we're just gonna walk through the page from top to bottom. So we'll start here on welcome message. This is where you can edit what the client sees when they're first welcomed and greeted 
on the booking page. This is the default. Of course, you're welcome to update it or choose one of your templates, but we're gonna leave this alone for now. The next step here is offerings. First, you're gonna choose a price list, and then you're gonna basically add whatever offerings or packages you want to allow your client to choose from on the front end. I'm gonna go ahead and click add offering, and I'm going to choose two packages for the client to choose from. Under the a la carte section here, this allows you to choose extra items that your client can add onto their package on top of the package that they choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose one item here so we can see it on the front end. You can optionally add a questionnaire to the booking page and then also add a contract if you'd like. In the payment term section here, you can specify when the payment is due. So do you want it to be due immediately when the client books, due in a certain number of days, or do you have a payment schedule that you want to build so that your client can pay on multiple installments? We're going to leave it all as due now. And the last section here is thank you message, and you can edit that the same way that you edited the welcome message on top. The last bit that we're gonna look at here is the settings section up here. And we're just gonna open that up because there's two things that you wanna look at. Number one is payment methods. This is how your client pays. This will choose your default payment methods. So if you've set that up in settings and you've set your defaults then you shouldn't have to touch this. And then your tax will be chosen here. Again, your default tax. So as long as that's set up in your settings, then you should be good to go here. Otherwise, we will click close and we'll click the make live button now to make this booking page live. And now you can copy the link, you can embed it on your website, or if you click view right here, you can open it up on the front end. This here is the welcome message. So you can see if we had edited it, this is um, what would be showing. Uh, we'll click get started. The first step that we're gonna see is the scheduler and you can see that it jumped me forward to November automatically and I have those two dates that we set up, the 4th and the 11th. And if I open that up, you can see here's those availability increments. They're all in 30 minute um, increments. So if I click 10 o'clock, we'll go ahead and book that. We'll confirm date and time. This now shows those two packages that I had chosen to present to the client so they can click that. And then this is the a la carte item that they had added on or that I had chosen to add on on top of that. So we'll click that here. And then the payment schedule here, we had said due now, which is then now of course due today. So it's gonna be all due upfront. And then we can click next. The client will now walk through, fill in their personal details. If you had a questionnaire, the questionnaire would come next. And then after this will be the contract. And so that's how you book mini sessions using a booking page and a scheduler in Sprout Studio. There's three more things that we're gonna walk through. Number one, you're gonna see this Sprout Assistant section in a lot of areas in Sprout. And if I open that up here, you can see the different ways that you can automate this thing in your business using the Sprout Assistant tool. This allows you to turn them off or turn them on. You can customize when these things go out and you can also preview what they look like by opening it up here. Once you set this up in settings though, you shouldn't have to worry about this unless you wanna customize it for each individual um, item. We're gonna go ahead and close that. The last two things that we wanna look at here are number one, if you wanted to limit the number of bookings that you have from this booking page, then you can create that sense of scarcity and create that limitation by going up here into settings and then availability and then choosing yes for limit availability and then you can choose how many you wanna limit it to. And the second thing and the last thing that we wanna look at here is if you want to add this booking page to your booking uh, catalog, which is a public page that your clients can go to that lists all of your booking pages in one place, then you can turn that on. You can upload a promotional image for it, a description, and then it will show up there. And I'll show that to you in just a moment here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. And then let's go back to the booking page page right here and then click view booking catalog and I'm gonna view it for the brand that I'm working with right now. And this is what the booking catalog looks like right here. So this is a page that you can share with your clients and they can see all of the booking pages that you have. If you have limitations, they'll see the limitations here, how many are left, or if it's fully booked, they'll see that here that it's fully booked. And so that is how you build out a booking page and a scheduler in Sprout to do a mini session promotion for your business.